Hello YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream and as much as we all like the beautiful weather and we would love to be RVing in it every day, a lot of us have to deal with what I have to deal with here in Northeast Ohio and that is off season and in my case we're talking snow, rain, ice, and also a lot of dust from the road because I live close to the road. I've got a cover that should take care of all those things. So let's take a look at it. This is a traditional style RV cover. And what that means is it's a breathable fabric. Now Bogue RV, which is very, very clear about their warranty work, is two year and it's a limited warranty and it's basically you've got to install it you've got to use it correctly they give you the instructions of how to install it which is really basic i'll show you what that is everybody does it pretty much the same way and simple to do and these are simple to follow picture instructions if you need to contact them they are happy to assist you bogarv at gmail.com real simple there or you can call their number in california and you can get through to a representative and have them talk to you that way about any issues you may have so let's go ahead and break this open and take a look at it and put it on the rv cover up our baby and see what it's like. So the deal is, is you're gonna get this in two boxes. One's an over box and then a main box. And once you open those boxes, you're gonna get this cover. The cover is generous, so you can easily get it back in there. First thing you're gonna do is get it out of the bag, take the strap loose, and we're gonna find out where the front is, where the rear is, and where the top is. And that's gonna make it where we know how to lay it out and stage it, basically, to get on top of our RV. Now, while Heidi's working to get that open, I wanna talk about preparing your RV. One thing you gotta watch, as we did in our last RV with our last cover, the downspouts that you have there, I don't know if you can see them against the sky, those things have a tendency to wear holes in there, so you may wanna take some sort of a pool noodle or a roll bar padding and put it over that. And also up on the roof, you've got antennas up there. You may wanna take the antennas and fold those down to prepare it for the cover to be put up on there. Also, any other sharp edges that you may have, you gotta watch because as the cover is breathable, it also moves and flexes with the wind to some extent and it will rub a hole in it. So you gotta be really careful with that. That's something that's not covered under warranty. So let's go ahead and get this thing unrolled, find out what it looks like. Going over some of the features that we're seeing here on the ground before we put it up, and we'll cover it a little bit later. The air pockets for breathability, they're screened. We'll talk about that. The three-ply roof, again, you need a roof that's a little bit more sturdier than the sides. And then the one-ply breathable sides. You have tie-downs all along the bottom of the cover that can be connected from side to side to keep the, the cover tight to the RV to some extent. And then, of course, you have some cinching style tabs that are extra heavy duty that allow it to be snugged on front to rear to keep it tight from front to rear on the RV but right now we're going to stage this cover once it's laid out just like we unrolled it and we located the front which in this case is up here we're going to take this part we're going to move it this way as much as possible cover up the camera view a little bit then we're going to grab the other side as we rotate this up on top a little bit we're going to take the other side that's underneath now and we're gonna pull it in the opposite direction. And the reason that we're doing this, again, is to stage it correctly. Okay, so now you can see that we have the roof part in the middle. This is the up part. This is the part that's going to be facing the weather. And then the two sides. We're gonna roll the two sides on top of the, the roof part. And then we're going to roll the entire cover from the rear to the front so that when we're unrolling it, it unrolls correctly, it unferrels correctly. Okay, so now we're gonna move you around to the back so we can show you how this is going up top. You're probably gonna have more room than we do, uh, but nonetheless, this is what you're wanting to do at this point to stage it 
to get on the roof. If you have access to a helper like Heidi, <laughs> it's best to have one. If not, you're gonna have to try to do this yourself. Now I suggest if you have a ladder like ours, it's kind of hard to step onto, you may wanna grab another ladder or a step stool or something to help you get to the first step. But since we have a helper, I'll pull myself up. Once I'm up there, she's gonna hand me the front and then I'm just gonna start walking up over top of the RV or up the ladder and over the RV and letting this unroll as I pull it and just kind of drag it over the back of the RV. Again, this is important to know that you shouldn't have anything sharp sticking out the back to cause a problem because it will drag and catch onto the cover and potentially tear it. That's not covered under warranty. Now that we got the cover pulled up over the back of the RV, we can start dropping it down where it needs to be. Now it's a little windy today, but it's not horrible. If you're doing this on a windy day, I suggest you don't because most likely that's not gonna work. Believe it or not, that's the hardest part of getting the RV cover on. You can see that everything's within reach. It's just a matter of pulling it down. So before you pull all one side down, you wanna walk around the entire RV and make sure that whatever's on this side is also equally on the other side. Because last thing you wanna do, especially if the wind's blowing, is pull one side down too far, get the other side to where it comes up to the edge, the wind catches it and it'll peel it right off the RV and you gotta start all over again. You can pretty much see everything underneath, but the fabric is relatively thick um, it is a one ply but it is pretty thick it's not it's not paper thin or anything I mean it's it's good so I'm glad that they've made it to where it's that breathable so let's go ahead and get to some of the other features like I mentioned you can see the breathable pockets up there and how they're screened and you can see them huffing and puffing and allowing that uh, excess moisture can evaporate and leave the RV roof. Now we're gonna be working with the ends and you can see Heidi's already got these buttoned up. You have these big flaps on the end that are sewn into the cover. They're very thick. That way you can pull on the cover and keep it tight. We've had winters where I'm telling you, this stuff gets really, really affected during the winter because of all the wind and the ice and the snow. And it's just pulling and tugging on this cover the entire time that it's being stored. So I'm really happy that they make them that heavy duty. And again, this is for a 27 to 30 foot RV. This RV is 29 foot and of nine inches from the ball, which would normally be the ball, the hitch ball, all the way to the back. Yet you can see how much extra we have here that it even covers our Pro Pride hitch. So there's a lot of excess material here that you can, you can put on however you want. Now in our case, we want to have it to where it snugs itself up um, with all these other things being covered too. But a lot of people don't do that. And again, I don't have a problem with it. This just allows more breathability. So as far as getting inside the RV, able to roll or unzip and roll this panel up to get inside your RV, because once it's up, it's gotta be high enough that you grab these, these little tangs that are hanging down and tie them to the other side to keep the roll up in the air. Well, my thoughts are you definitely need an RV cover. That's my own personal preference. And anyone that covers up their RV with RV covers know that they need to be breathable and they need to be built heavier on the top than the sides. The sides don't need to be real thick. They don't need to be heavy. They need to be protective and they could be breathable. But the roof, that's a whole nother story because you've got ice and snow and just rain pounding on it up there. So the thicker, the better. And the fact that it breathes, all the moisture that may find its way through the cover eventually will evaporate and keep everything dry. So the links on this are gonna be down below. Thanks to Bogue RV for sending us this cover. I appreciate you guys. And as always, we hope to see you out there. Bye.